When it comes to insects that can damage sound grains, the rice weevil, Cetophila cerisi, is one of the biggest offenders. These small beetles with their long snouts are only two to three millimeters in length, but in large numbers, they can turn millions of bushels of grain into dust. The distinctive snouts of the rice weevil set them apart from other grain beetles. At the very tip of their long snout are strong mandibles that are capable of chewing through the tough husks of corn, wheat, and other grains, and even pasta. Females carrying eggs will chew a small hole into a sound kernel of grain and then will spin around and deposit an egg into the hole and seal it up. The protected egg will hatch in three days and the larva will literally eat out the interior of the grain kernel until it is ready to emerge as an adult. The larval stage of this internal feeder does most of the physical damage to the grain, but the adult stage continues to feed during its four-month lifespan. Over time, grain that has been fed on by the rice weevil larva and adults becomes hollowed out. After extensive feeding, damaged grains can easily be broken apart with one's fingers. The grain damage inflicted by rice weevils causes large financial losses to farmers and grain dealers, and this damage robs the public of valuable food sources. Rice weevils become more active as temperatures rise. Once temperatures go above 20 degrees Celsius, the beetles begin to fly, pushing aside their hard wing covers and unfolding their delicate wings. Rice weevil adults are strong flyers and can travel from bin to bin or farm to farm during the heat of the summer. Food odors and male-produced aggregation pheromones draw both male and female weevils to a single location to feed and reproduce. Males will locate a female and will compete to mate with her using a mating ritual of rubbing their snouts from side to side along her thorax. The full life cycle can be completed in as little as 30 days during hot summer months. When these insects find a mate and a good food source, a new generation of this destructive pest will soon emerge to seek out and destroy our food supplies for their own benefit.